the planning in India is categorized under two heads, the planning till 1991 and planning after 1991. The planning 1991 and afterwards will be studying in the sixth chapter. Now here are the features of the planning till 1991. The first feature is that it gave heavy reliance on public sector. That is the government started undertaking all the means of production and services in its own hand because it believed that public sector can lead to the growth of a good economy. So before 1991, we were just focusing on the growth of the public sector. The second feature was regulation of the private sector. That is regulation on the development of the private sector. The government kept strict watch on the private sector and there were laws made, regulations laid down to ensure that the public sector is on the higher side and the private sector does not grow much as compared to the public sector because the government believed that though in spite of the mixed economy that we have in the country, the public sector should be more than the private sector. So the checks were kept on the private sector by various rules and regulations. The third feature of the planning till 1991 was that there was a lot of promotion given to the small scale industries. The small scale industries that is the handicrafts and so on were given lot of impetus, lot of encouragement by various ways, by providing them loans, by making certain organizations which helped in the development of these small scale and cottage industries, for example, in the silk and so on. The fourth feature was the development of heavy industries at strategic locations. The Indian government believed that the heavy industries, especially the iron and steel and other such industries which are the backbone of the economy should be given lot of importance at the strategic locations. That is at the places where the raw material, the labor and other things were easily available. The fifth feature is thrust on saving and investment. The government promote, promoted the savings and investments in India because it believed that it not only made an individual strong but also the economy stronger. The sixth feature of the planning till 1991 was that it started protecting the companies that is the small scale companies. And the last of course is that it believed that they should be centralized planning. It should not be that all the states have their own different planning strategies. Everything should be in the hands of the centralized authority. Say for example the planning commission in order to bring about a complete planning in the country. A holistic planning in the country. So these were the features of the planning in India till 1991.